Awesome. Question for Alec. Just how does it feel getting that five returning off? That's unheard of yeah. in college football. Uh, just talk about the continuity and what you guys can do with this. Right. You know, most importantly, we got five returning offensive linemen. You know, I got my five best friends coming back, you know. Okay. Coming back with COVID, Zion and Ben got another year, and they're my best friends on the line. And, you know, playing offensive line, you need that chemistry. So the fact that we're best friends, we're hanging out, like, after this, we're going to go shower, eat, watch film together. It's so... It's such a blessing for the team and for us and for me personally being selfish because I get to hang out with my best friends. And then on an offensive thing, we've all played three years. This is Christian's second year, but everyone else has played three years. Ben is he's playing five years. He's about to break the record, you know. The experience that we have and the knowledge and like that football knowledge that you learn from playing, it, it just gives us such an advantage coming back in that chemistry and we're back in positions. We're not moving around, you know. So it's going to be exciting to watch us. And we pride ourselves on being the best unit in the country this year. And we, we hold a high standard, and we're going to work every day after, do more film so we can do that because we all have goals for our team, for ourselves and everything. So it's, gonna be, it's awesome. And the experience that we have coming back with all five of us, is, is, it's a blessing. So it sounds like you want to get O-line U back on the map. Exactly, exactly. Get that on the map. And I know we've all been getting a lot of preseason recognition, and we want to live up to it. You know, it's cool to get the preseason recognition. It's an honor, and now we got to get it for postseason, and we're going to take a lot of pride in ourselves and hold us ourselves to a high level where we're going to get that done. You talk about hanging out with guys after practice. How much nicer is it to have an, you know, an actual training camp and, and a preseason and all that? Yeah, it, it's awesome. You know, COVID, it, it was hard, and, and even though we were with the guys in practice, or you couldn't hang out as much or do stuff and, you know, hang out in football doing all that stuff, or even during the school year, now that COVID's over, after a practice, after a game, we can all go to the grad house, we can hang out, we can sit down and, and kind of just, just be guys, you know? So, so it's awesome, and like I said, it's my five best friends that I get to hang out with, and without COVID, it's a little more free, and we can be with each other more, so it, it's, it's so awesome. You got a pretty good sweat out there. How was day one? It was good, it was good. You know, we were going, we were going hard, moving around, you know, it's day one, so operationally, you may not be as sound as you want to be. There's going to be some mental errors. There's going to be guys going this way when you should have gone that way. Oh, your, your footwork was bad. But it's all about trying hard, day one. Getting out there, trying hard, putting your best effort forward, and getting better. You know, we're going to watch the tape. We're going to find something we need to do. So tomorrow, whether it was my backside hand was bad or something, we've got to fix it. But Coach has got us working, but he's, he's letting us have fun. So it's awesome. Coach Hefley talked about how when you have that many returns on the O-line, it's sort of building up the run game. Can you talk about what you saw from them today or over the summer? Yeah, yeah. So, like we said, uh, we love running the ball. We love passing the ball, too. But, you know, we're big offensive linemen. We like to smash a little bit, you know. So, yeah, our run game's really going to come together. You know, last year, uh, some people would say that it, was, it wasn't the greatest, and we want to prove that wrong, you know. We, we love to run the ball in that wide zone play, that inside zone play. We're, we're going to get it We're going to get it done. And you can see, just watching practice, how much better it is now on day one of camp since the last day of spring ball. You know, in the spring, we took a giant step with getting in phase with the running backs and, and getting ourselves in phase with each other. And then now we have a whole training camp, so the run game's going to be explosive this year. Sounds like fun. I mean, just talk about breaking down a front seven with the running game and, yeah. what, it, and what that can lead to. Yeah, you know... So we have like our base runs or outside zones or inside zones, but then we have some like tag words that may, that may change the scheme up a little bit where we may have to go more outside or maybe have to go more inside. And, and those tag words, and last year we were kind of going through the process as players and as coaches kind of getting the right wording. You know, it's like a different language, getting the right wording. So I hear something, it triggers in my brain, okay, I got to look for this. You know, so we had this spring and then we have this camp that we're going to get those words uh, defined real good and we're going to get it so we know if we have this play to this certain front we're going to go outside or oh we got this play okay I hear that word okay I'm looking for this safety comes down okay we got to go back one you know something like that so just hearing those words and, and myself as a center because I'm kind of controlling most of that stuff breaking it down just getting that in my head defined and, and getting all the rules set good which which we have and, and just improving on that and so once I see it I can make that call. Yeah, that was kind of my next question. Are you are you Phil's second set of eyes? Yeah, yeah. You know, we me and Phil do a lot of time talking on <clears throat> whether we make a check at the line, what we got to do for a cadence, because the guys, you know, playing offensive line, you're playing left tackle, right. You gotta 
you got a war daddy in front of you. You know, you got, you're worried about blocking him. You're not worried about what's going on. So me and Phil really take our time, whether if we're making a call or making this. So the left tackle, right tackle, left guard, right guard, myself knows, okay, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to worry about blocking him. And it's my responsibility, Phil's responsibility to make those calls. And if I don't see it, he's going to see it. And if he doesn't see it, I'm going to see it. And we help each other out. I'll come to the line. I'll be like, hey, watch for this. Or he'll be like, okay, watch for this. And we help each other out because it's our job to communicate with everyone to get that stuff done. Awesome, thank you guys. It's finally good to see you guys again. No more computer screens. <laughs>